We told you last Friday about multiple cyclists who say that they were attacked by two dogs while they were riding in the area of East 56th Street North and North Yale. Now, since our story aired, two more have come forward saying that they were injured as well. Tonight, our Sharon Phillips is speaking with one of the owners of the dogs to find out what they're doing to keep people safe this weekend. A warning, some of the dog bite photos are graphic. This is Diesel and Mann, two dogs who local cyclists say attacked them while they rode down the street over the past year near East 56th Street North in Yale. The dog bites were so severe for some, they spent time in the ER and now have PTSD and a mountain of medical bills, not to mention the emotional and mental toll. These photos show some of their injuries. Suzanne is one of the dog's owners and asked us not to use her last name for this story. She tells me the Father's Day derecho took out their fence and they have had a difficult time repairing it. I only get $400 a month in disability. We can only do so much with what we got. I can't make a ma build a ma mansion out of pennies. I mean, <laughs> it's just impossible. Suzanne says she is sorry about the dog attacks. I'm sorry that it did happen. It wasn't intentionally or nothing like that. We have took our duty to repair the situation. We asked her about the common denominator. Why do you think your dogs are bothered by the bicycle so much? Because we had people that lived near us that would throw uh, fireworks and tasers and stuff at them at, at, when they was little. She believes her dogs are triggered by people riding bikes and will keep them inside this weekend. In an effort to fix the problem, the family says they put up these tarps here on their fence to try and block the dog's view so they wouldn't see the cyclists riding by. Despite numerous citations, the cost of repairs, and the physical and mental toll the dogs have taken on the community, she won't let them go. They're my children. I'm not allowed to have kids. I, I never have. Those are my, my kids. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office has cited the family multiple times, confiscated one of the animals for 10 days, and ordered the family to fix their fence and get the dog's shots up to date. Within the law, Oklahoma law, dogs are considered property, and that means that the Sheriff's Office can't just go and confiscate or take a dog because they are considered property. It is a civil matter, um, so all we're able to do is write the citations and then follow that process. So far, the family says they've received about four dog at large tickets like these costing over $700 in total. In North Tulsa, I'm Sharon Phillips, 2 News Oklahoma. Now the sheriff's office is encouraging anyone who has been attacked by these dogs to file a report immediately.